Hello creators. We want to show you how easy it is to create interactions and animations in Vectory. This way, you can create product presentations, get your ideas across and turn your embeds into engaging experiences. Open Vectory Studio. Right away, you will notice that the modes in the top nav are new to the studio. The design mode is used for designing your scene. Animate mode creates animations. Interact mode is for interactions with objects and animations. Our scene is already designed and added to the canvas in design mode. We can move directly to the animate mode. Here you can see a timeline. The purple line indicates the length of the animation. The playhead is your position on the timeline. Move the playhead and change the position, rotation, or scale of the object. It will automatically create a keyframe. Play the animation by clicking the play icon or by using your spacebar. The next thing to do is to create a floating animation. Click on the plus icon. This will add a new animation. Double click to rename it. You can have more than one animation on the timeline. Delete the first test animation. Move the playhead to the end of the animation and change the position and rotation of the object. This is the position of the object for the end. Change it to ping pong and make sure easing is set to ease auto. Play it to make sure everything is as you want it to be. Now moving over to the interact tab. Here we will set up the triggers for the animation we just set up. Click on the plus icon to add a new interaction. We want the animation to start from the very first moment the embed is loaded. Set the trigger type on load and for actions properties, add the floating animation. Open the preview mode to see how it looks. We want this buckle to open up and close after a click. We already have animation for that, as well as flip animation we will show on the hotspot later. So let's continue with the open the buckle interaction. Go to the interact mode. Add a new interaction and rename it. In the trigger option, set it on click and choose a target, which is the buckle. In the actions, choose the animation and the one we already created. Finally, test it in the preview mode. Moving on to creating interaction triggered by hotspots. The process is similar to clicking on any object on the scene. First, add a hotspot in design mode. Set its position and add a custom image or even a Lottie animation. Switch over to interact mode. Add a new interaction. Choose the on-click trigger and select hotspot as a target. In the actions, choose the animation and the one we already created. When in preview mode, click the hotspot to trigger it. Sometimes you need to showcase product variations, such as different materials. We can create that with a material switcher. Go to the design mode. Add a floating UI from the object menu. The object you want to apply the material switcher to must have multiple materials. From the Properties menu, choose a Material Switcher and set its source. At the end, preview the Configurator. Lastly, we want to create invariants for logos. We have three different logos that were imported as 2D graphics and placed as stickers on the buckle. To switch between them, you need to add them under Variants. Put all the logos inside the Variants group.
Select a floating UI. From the UI elements, add in variants. Set its source to variants we just created. Let's preview it with all the interactions. Looks really interesting and complete. Now the project is ready to be shared. Click on the top right share button and enable sharing. Anyone with the link will be able to open it. To embed this project on a website, copy the embed code and place it in your website builder, such as Webflow, Wix, Shopify, and more. More tutorials about interactions are coming up. Let us know in the comments about what you would like to learn next. Thanks for watching.